Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a minor space weather warning. Took a big quake in South America yesterday. We'll look at tropical development near Mexico, a historical coring that ties climate to geomagnetic field strength, and a brand new NASA mission that could change literally everything. This is the last 24 hours on our star, and it was fairly calm. We do have sunspots and filaments to continue monitoring, but thus far they have remained stable. No flaring or eruptions. One of the filament snaps from two days ago, however, got reanalyzed by the NOAA space weather team and they think we may have a small CME on the way. Folks, I think there's only a 50-50 chance anything impacts us tonight, but if it does, NOAA is predicting level one solar storm conditions. Top quake of the last day struck Chile, 6.4, but luckily it was fairly deep. Only minor damage up at the surface, broken glass and some wall cracks. Folks, we've got a lot of development near Mexico, so we are dialed in there for satellite feeds, but the best models right now shows that there is expected to be a tightening up of the main system, and after a hurricane forms, it's going to happily take the westward path away from landfall. One always hopes, right? Excellent study up next tying climate changes throughout the past to geomagnetic excursions, specifically the weak magnetic field which lets more solar energy pound the atmosphere. Makes sense. They even managed to realize that the timelines of different cores never match up, so they need to tag events together at different depths and correct for errors in their apparent ages. Golf clap for that. Top story today, folks, the Geo Corona mission is go. It's launching this year and heading to L1 where this small craft will stop, turn around and literally do nothing other than stare at the Earth with an advanced ultraviolet camera, like as advanced as what is on SDO. This is possibly the most brilliant idea they've ever had. Why did someone not think of this a decade ago? Because if you watch the Earth in ultraviolet, you can see solar forcing of the atmosphere and track it over time in case it's trending one way or another due to something like, I don't know, a planet's magnetic field weakening in another geomagnetic excursion cycle like we are in right now. This is what they think some of their images may look like before processing. Oh, this is going to be good. Folks, Dome Workshop this weekend at the ranch. I will be out there today for it kicking off. Pole Shift Conference next weekend. Prepper events the weekends after that. And the conference repeats monthly with new updates. And don't forget, Observer Speed Dating end of July. Time to find your Prepper Princess or Post-Apocalyptic Warlord. Tactical Training start of August. Lots happening in Observer Ranch the rest of the year. And we can't wait to see you. Want to shake your hand in person. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.